They called me crazy for wanting the Ravens to invest more in wide receivers. They said I need to stop talking about it. Why I keep repeating it? Why I keep bringing it up? I need to let it go. This was one of the biggest reasons why I continued to bring it up. Because the Ravens, especially after last season, the way that last season went with injuries, that should have let the Ravens know, like, look, we got to stay ready so we ain't got to get ready. We need to be overprepared rather than underprepared. My biggest thing, and we talked about it, you can go back to the videos and see them if you want to. But one of my biggest issues and concerns going into this season was at the wide receiver position. The running back, I'm like, we straight. Fullback, obviously straight. Quarterback, we obviously more than straight. Offensive line, I was like, we'll see. But if healthy, we should be straight. Tight ends, obviously straight. Defensive line, like, we could go through all the positions, whatever. I felt like we were straight. Only, only come up, it's, 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 what's crazy, my biggest question marks were wide receiver and inside linebacker those are my biggest question marks and then i wasn't sure about the pass rush how the pass rush would be and you know what's crazy guess where ravens had the biggest question marks at throughout this season yes yes but anyway first off well i mean i guess that was already first off because we've been talking already but i do feel for rashad bateman i really do because that sucks that really really sucks big time because to have your career, your professional career, and to, 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 for it to start like this, like you've, how many games has he played? Has he even played a full like 16, 17 games yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't remember though. But anyway, well, you know what? No, last year he played with like 9, 10, 11 games, something like that. And then this year, but anyway, don't even matter. For his career to start in the NFL like this, it's a tough blow. And you feel for his mental because that can mess with your mind, man. And you can wonder like, man, why me? What did I do to deserve this? What's going on? Am I doing something wrong? You can have all these crazy thoughts that go through your head. Or not even crazy thoughts, but just all these thoughts that go through your head. So hopefully Rashad Bateman mentally, he'll be straight. But um, you feel for him because what's, what's even crazier is that in college, he ain't had no injuries like that. He wasn't no like injury prone wide receiver or anything like that. He was healthy. He ain't missed no games. The only time he like missed time was I think during the COVID when he sat out when he chose to sit out. So he's been healthy. So for so this this to like continuously happen to him on an NFL level, it sucks. But now, um, the Ravens tough business, and it obviously ain't nothing against Rashad. But now, like moving forward. Ravens got to treat it like you can't put all your eggs into his basket. And I never thought that they should have. And I continue to say it before the season, like, Ray, I, I would much rather them. Like, Rashad's cool, dude. We'll see about him. Proche, we don't know. Tylen Wallace, we don't know. I was like, hey, they should go get somebody who's like that already, who's a proven guy already. They should go get that and add it to it. So then you ain't got to go into the season with just all this unproven, all these unproven guys. But the Ravens, they, they, they stood, stood firm, stood 10 toes down. And then they were like, ah, in the preseason, when Demarcus Robinson got cut, they're like, ah, I can't come here, Demarcus Robinson. Come on, come through. And I was like, ah, okay, Demarcus Robinson. All right, cool. You know, he done burnt the Ravens a couple of times. So, all right, whatever. Ah, couldn't hurt. Um... But, yeah, it just, it wasn't enough, man, my opinion. It, 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 it should have been something better, some higher quality or whatnot. Uh, and now we're here. We're here. I, um, that was one of my biggest gripes with the, the Ravens this offseason was just why they didn't do more for their offense, for their receiving core, for uh, Lamar as a quarterback. Um, because my comparison, like me, I got Carter. Carter's my son, and he's in school. So for him with school, I could provide him with, like, the bare necessities in order for, because a lot of people always say, oh, Lamar's good enough. He, he, he got enough. You always hear people say that. They say, oh, he, he got enough. Maybe he's fine. He, he's fine with what he's got. You, you see his record, right? So he's fine with what he's got. 
I could give Carter the bare necessities just to ensure that he just got by in school, that he passed in school. And hey, that could be fine for some people, but that wouldn't be fine for me. I want Carter in school, not even just school, but life in general, but in school. I will want things to, I want to put him in the best position possible to have as much success as he can possibly have. So if I was to just give him the bare minimum, I, I couldn't let that fly. That wouldn't sit right with me. Because me as his father, me as the one who is like responsible for his life, I got to set him up for success, not for failure. And, and not for, oh, let me just get by. Let me just squeak by. No. So I feel like with the Ravens, John Harbaugh, Eric DaCosta, Steve Bishotti, they are the, the parents, so to speak. And Lamar would be the child. And, but they just giving him the bare minimum on offense. I was, I was talking to somebody, some, somebody yesterday. I forgot who it was. They were like, oh, no, what? Lamar's had good defenses, though. He's had much better than average defenses for the most part. Obviously, last year, don't count last year because everybody was hurt. They're like, oh, Lamar's had really great defenses. A lot of other quarterbacks can't say that. Is Lamar Jackson throwing to those defenses? Is Marcus Peters lining up at wide receiver? Is Marlon Humphrey playing corner? Let, let, let me know unless I miss them. They're not. So it, it's, it's just always such, to me, it's just a strange argument, man. Because whenever you talk about, oh, providing Lamar, people say, oh, well, he's, he's had great defenses. Is that who he's handing the ball off to in the backfield? Is that who he's throwing to? The, no. That's defense. That's not offense. People always try to flip stuff. Then when we talk about wide receiver, people say, oh, he got Mark Andrews. He sure does have Mark Andrews. But Mark Andrews is a tight end. He's not a wide receiver. He's not. Isaiah Likely is a tight end. He's not a wide receiver. He used to be, but he's not. I hate having to go back, but we got to go back. All this offseason, my hope was that the Ravens would make a move for, of significance at the wide receiver position. They did not. I wasn't shocked. So I was disappointed. Then the trade deadline came and went. Same thing. But um, I had a couple of reasons why I wanted them to make a significant move at the position. One was for more quality depth. Quality. And not even just depth, but starters. But if you got somebody of high quality, then your backups and second string guys and whatnot, your number two, number three guys, it, they just got that much better. Because you added somebody of significance, and that made uh, everybody who was there already, that, that pushed them down on a depth chart, but you still get better quality because those people used to be up on a depth chart. So if you got a, a true number one guy and Rashad Bateman got pushed to number two, okay, well, that's a pretty good number two, I would say. So it, I, But that wasn't even the only reason. Another huge reason that we continued to say, we said, what if? What if? And I hate having to play the what if game, but we had to play it because last year was... A what if and what happened yeah because literally every single body got hurt everybody got hurt so my thing was like all right remember 2021 remember what happened to literally every like every ravens player pretty much i know it was a couple that made it through the whole year like patrick queen shout out to him uh mark andrews um there were some other ones too but anyway most of the ravens players they all got hurt so my thing was what if because you, you got so much depth at every single position except inside linebacker and wide receiver. We said that a lot of times. Shout out to those of y'all that remember. But anyway, even if you don't, it's okay. What happens if somebody goes down at either one of those positions, especially at wide receiver? What happens? Now we're here. Now we're here. And it's unfortunate because, again, I, I feel for Rashad Bateman. I feel for him because that, that's, that's a tough blow. But Ravens should have been better prepared. They should have been better prepared. And then even for them to go into the season with a lack of depth, they did that. Then the trade deadline to go through all these weeks, and, and, and Rashad Bateman was even hurt. And for them to be sort of minimalists at the position when it came to making moves, I'm like, really? 
and they they went in. So so now again, I talked about this in the video where the where, where it was official that the Ravens signed Deshaun Jackson. I talked about and we talked about it in other videos too. I hate. I I mean I obviously hope it works out. But I hate the fact that the Ravens now, and and you could you could miss me with all that. Oh no, he's just gonna be a depth piece. He's only gonna be in for a couple. Play no, Deshaun Jackson is gonna be out there. I can guarantee you that. When he does finally, when he does finally play, <laughs> he is gonna be out there a lot. It the first game, it, but nah, he probably gonna be out there a lot the first game too. But he is going to be out there a lot. He's a veteran wide receiver. Like a veteran veteran Like yeah, yeah Veteran veteran He's 35 Like uh, yeah He's a veteran veteran But What I, I I'm just disappointed In the Ravens with Is the fact that They have to re Now rely on A 35 year old Wide receiver Who was not even Playing football Didn't retire But was not even Playing football It took an I am athlete Interview For the Ravens To say Oh come on Deshaun Jackson an I am athlete interview And I, I, some of y'all I know some of y'all Gonna say Oh it wasn't Cause of that interview Are you crazy Look at the timing Look at the timing and you, go, go check out Deshaun Jackson videos Look at the timing Deshaun Jackson Made, the, made his comment Ray, Ravens two days later Brought him in for a workout Coincidence Nah Not at all But anyway That's not even important Now they have to rely on A 35 year old Deshaun Jackson Devin Duvin And, and now Think about this too we always want people's jobs to be made easier. That's my thing. I always, I always tell that to Carl. I tell it to my wife. I, I, I want y'all. And obviously, not everything's gonna be easy, but I want stuff to be easier for them. So, with um, with Deshaun Jackson, they bring a brought him in, cool. But now Devin Duvernay. Now Devin Duvernay, since the Ravens didn't prepare for this, now that much more attention will be on him. I mean, and, and I mean, sometimes the Ravens, they don't even be wanting to use them. They like, they, they flip flop when they want to use Duvernay. And when they do use Duvernay, they have a lot of success. When they don't use Duvernay like that, it's like, yeah, yeah you know how it goes. But now Duvernay, he's going to have a lot more attention placed on him. And so that makes it tougher for him, makes it tougher for everybody else too. But Ravens have to rely on Deshaun Jackson. They have to, oh, they're getting ready to eat. They have to rely on Deshaun Jackson. They have to rely on Devin Duvernay, obviously. And Proche, who's barely been out there. Tylen Wallace, who's barely been out there. Mark Andrews, who banged up. Isaiah Likely, rookie. He's been coming along, though. But Isaiah Likely. So, hey, again, we hope it all works out. But I just feel like Ravens should have been much better prepared for this. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, feel bad for Bateman, man. Feel really bad for Bateman. Um, so, hopefully, his mentals could be straight, man. I love y'all. Y'all stay up. Y'all be good to each other. Love y'all. We out.